Hey Algebra 2, we're now moving on to the problems where it talks about the probability that a point randomly selected from a figure will land in or outside the shaded area. Well, the idea of this is, when they talk about a point, that could be anything on the inside. So any of these, so we're dealing with the inside, which is the area. So what we need to do is find the area, the area of the shaded region, and the area over the area of the total region. Oops. Total. Okay, so, um, sorry for the spelling there. Um, so, basically, just so you know, if I had something like this, if I saw this on the test, you'd get just a few partial points for that, because I know you're, th you know what you're thinking. Some of you guys may just struggle a little bit with geometry. Alright, so let's look at this. To find the area of the shaded region, we have to do the full rectangle and take away the part that's not shaded. Okay, well, the full rectangle is going to be 12 times 5, which is 60 square centimeters. Um, whereas the inside is going to be 8 times 3, which is 24 square centimeters. So we have to take that part away, and we get 36 square centimeters is the shaded portion. And we already figured out that the whole part is 60, so it's going to be 36 over 60. So our final answer then is 0.6, because that's what you get when you do 36 divided by 60. Now you'll notice here that even though we write centimeters squared, remember that just means square centimeters, it's a measure of area. It doesn't mean you actually have to square anything. It's a common mistake. I just want to make sure nobody's making. This is our final answer.